Hello, welcome to Aerosift channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the test cases that are available in Codaster and perform a run and uh, look at the results and compare the results or uh, validate the results with what is presented in the test case uh, results uh, document. So, uh, as uh, many of as you might know, uh, the Codaster has got uh, quite a lot of test cases which can be accessed um, from the documentation page uh, in their website uh, which is what you have shown in this link here so if you click on documentation and uh, validation on test cases by name you can see all the load cases and um, as an introduction to that you can look at the the very first one the documentation and in this document it describes how they are numbered so for example this page here tells you what is the name of the test case so the test case that I am going to select uh, for this tutorial is uh, SSLD 503 so that is a uh, mechanics one uh, a statistic problem and a linear problem using a surface element and the number is uh, 503 this problem is a laminated plate uh, composite uh, a composite plate basically with three layers and uh, the definition is described uh, in this tutorial in this uh, pdf document which can be accessed from the code as to website so i'm going to show you step by step as to how to open this uh, test case run it and look at the results so i'll start the uh, salama mechano so the first step is to go to the code as to, uh, or as to study module of the salama mechan In this, uh, click on uh, operations and import test case. Type the test case uh, name and so in this case SSL Y03. And within this, there are four uh, types of cases to describe. So I'm going to show you the first one in this uh, tutorial. So as soon as you open or uh, double click on that, so it has imported the uh, model here and uh, if you click on read mesh here so it tells you the file that where it is reading it from and when you hover your mouse you can see the path there and if you actually right click on it and if you say browse directory in fact it takes you to the directory where that file is located and you can open the uh, the aster study or code aster com file and in which um, draw get the code for that so now i'm going to run this uh, uh, problem uh, and Show you how to look at the results as well but before running it as you can see for this particular problem there is no output file defined so i'm going to define an output file so i'll click on output and set the output file i'm going to say that uh, I will choose what results I want to be stored in that RMED file. So in this case, uh, you can see that the post processing request uh, this set of results. So I'm gonna uh, request them here. So if you select the RESU, which is nothing but the static mechanical one and the calc jump one, within that uh, you can access the uh, the displacement and the, the stress field that is defined over there. So I'm going to select the displacement. Now I'm going to select only the displacement uh, from this uh, result file. And then I'm going to also request the stresses from the post jump. So I'll select the uh, one of the values there just for demonstration that uh, the stresses are actually going to be read into this. So I have defined the output file, uh, which is an RMED file. I'm also going to define a text file to which I want the same results to be printed as well. 
So I'll do the same thing now. Do it one more time. Uh, before I do that, I think I should select the, the format. So the format that I want is results. Get the file name. So open the file name. Select the model which you want and select the results, same as earlier. This is the displacement from the linear analysis. by stress extraction from one of the position common. Let's go and click OK. I've defined the output files. So now I'm going to uh, run the problem and look at the results. So the current cases that I want to run. Select and click run. Not save the file, so give me a warning. So I'll just save the file. I'm going to increase the memory to high value because I had an error earlier when I run it default value. So run it with a high memory. And, uh, let's look at the result. So we have a successful run now, uh, and there is a armed file created and as well as the text file that has been created before i open the armed file i want to see the text file the, the file where we have put it requested that so that was the file name that i wanted if you open that you can see the uh, the model here so you can see the displacements And the stresses that I had requested. Now let's go back to the Salamameca and uh, look at the results now. So the results can be accessed in two ways. So you can access within the Aster study and with the Paravis. So we're going to quickly look at the Aster study results. So right click, post process. So this is how the Aster study results uh, will look like. So it has plotted me the displacement. Uh, within uh, in a control plot so you can see that the maximum displacement is uh, 0 0.015 and if you go back to the reference manual uh, the test case uh, guide and the displacement expected is also 0 0.015 so that shows that um, that shows the result here and if you click on the stresses you can also look at the stresses within this yeah so that's the stress plot here now I'm going to show you the same results, how to access it in uh, in Paravis. So I'll go back to Salome now. Uh, sorry, I'll click on the Paravis. Open the ARMED file here. So the results are the displacement and the stresses as requested so you can click on the i button there that will plot or give you the results so the results are there displacement so the results that again to compare with the value presented in the document so 0 0.015 in the center of the plate the white dis uh, white displacement as you can see the stresses are not shown by default here so what you have to do is you have to go to the filters electromechanics oh some reason this is not coming so i think you need to click apply first and then electromechanics and then you have to do that then you have the stress
stresses as well. So we plot it. So you can see the stresses there. Click on that. That's the stress plotter. So that's how you ask the run the test cases and look at the results. Uh, that's all I wanted to show in this tutorial. Hope uh, you like the video and you learned something from it. Thanks for watching.